five where I did the egg topiary, well, guess what we're going to do? We're going to be using the same two Easter baskets from Dollar Tree, and we're going to do a farmhouse look by using this twine. This is going to be so simple. Now you could use the Dollar Tree decorative nautical rope, or you could use just regular twine. It will take a little bit more time using the smaller twine, but I know the nautical rope is a little bit hard to find right now, so either one will work. And all we're going to do is just hot glue the rope on and wrap our little egg. I picked up two Easter baskets at Dollar Tree, and this is what they look like, and you can screenshot the barcode if you would like. I didn't have enough nautical rope or twine, so my husband went to the hardware store and he bought me some Twisted Poly Pro Outdoor Rope. Once you have your Easter baskets hot glued together and they've had time to dry, you're going to start adding your twine. And so I'm just adding a little Gorilla Glue hot glue, then putting the rope in the hot glue and just wrapping it around the little Easter basket. Just be very careful when you're using your hot glue, and I'm using Gorilla Glue brand hot glue. Just in case you want to pick up some of this rope that I'm using, it's 3 8 inch times 50 feet, and you will need two packages of it because I only had the one package and I did run short. I believe my husband said it was around $5 for 50 feet, but you're going to need more than 50 feet to do this egg. So I started on the bottom, and so I went almost to the halfway point, and I knew that my rope was going to run out, so I started on the top and used all of it, and then I had this middle section open. But if you get two packages or two rolls, you shouldn't have any trouble, and you will not have to leave the middle open. And my husband said that he bought the last package, so I couldn't get any more, so I just had to make do. So for the top of the Easter egg, I did have one package of the Dollar Tree decorative uh, nautical rope, and so that's what I used to do the top. So I just twisted it up in a little round circle and then hot glued it on. Same steps, just be very careful when you're using your hot glue. Make sure it has a little bit of time to dry and just keep wrapping it. And yes, I was a little bit short on the top too. But just remember if you're making a topiary, then your top one's the only neat one that you need to wrap with the rope or twine, and then you'll put a bow on it. The top and bottom of the other two eggs you don't need to wrap. To camouflage the center of my Easter baskets or my Easter egg, I cut two strips of this burlap ribbon that I picked up at Sam's Club. Now just remember the only reason I'm doing it this way is because I ran out of rope. If I had had two packages of this outdoor rope, then I would not be filling it in with this burlap ribbon. I would have still added a bow, but I wouldn't have done two bands of ribbon. This ribbon is 2.5 inch width ribbon with wire, and I just tied a double bow, and you'll need a pipe cleaner or some floral wire to wrap it tightly around the center of your bow. Just make sure you get the wire nice and tight or the pipe cleaner around your middle of your bow. If you watch the um, other egg topiary video that I shared, um, if you have not seen it, I will link it in the description box below, but if you watched it, you know that I added bows on the front of all three eggs and then the top egg, I added two bows, one on the top and then one in the middle. I thought about making a small swag out of maybe some lavender um, picks, just making a small swag and putting it um, underneath the bow because I thought that would kind of, you know, dress it up a little bit, but I just kept mine neutral. I did add a Dollar Tree carrot to the center of the bow, and then I had some um, garland that I picked up on sale last year for like 80 or 90% off at Hobby Lobby after Easter. That right there, I picked it up so cheap, so I decided to wrap the little Easter egg with it. I think Hobby Lobby has the same garland in this year though. Okay guys, so this is the way my first farmhouse Easter egg looks. Now I have to go searching to several Dollar Trees to find enough twine and nautical rope to do two more eggs. I think it looks very pretty, just a single egg, but I think I will do my other two eggs and stack them. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and share and also leave a comment for me and happy Easter.